Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, it is Saturday afternoon um, before the start of Mardi Gras, which is Tuesday, May 1st. March. March. <laughs> wow. Tuesday, March 1st. Take two. Um, for those who don't know, the word Mardi Gras literally means Fat Tuesday. Um, so that's why Mardi Gras always starts on a Tuesday. I did not know that. Yes, this is Brooke. You've seen her before. She's never spoke. <laughs> um, so anyway, with Mardi Gras coming up, we wanted to get some Creole, Cajun, slash Louisiana, New Orleans style food. So we are here at J Gumbo's in Louisville. Uh, they have three locations. Um, we are at the Highlands location. Um, because? Because the closer location is not open on Saturday. Um, although... Um, Creole Cajun style food is probably my favorite food um, other than some barbecue ribs. We have actually never been here so i um, curious to give it a shot and see what their gumbo and jambalaya and things are like. Um, anything? I'm ready. Anything? Ready. I'm ready. We've got Levi with us as well so we will see you inside. <laughs> This is the gumbo. Sausage gumbo. It's hot. really good too. If I knew what it meant, I would say it was rich. If you want, you all can pull another table over. Thank you. You like it, Brooke? It's different than any etouffee I've had, but it's got really good flavor. All right, shrimp bread. So, um, we just finished up our lunch at J Gumbo's. Um, first time here. What'd you think? It's advertising with the cup. What'd you think? I will be back. I really liked it. Um, you want to kind of just kind of run down. Now, if you've watched our channel for any length of time at all, you know we order way too much food. As you can see, we have three to-go bags back here with seven styrofoam containers of leftovers. So... Um, our kids, even though they don't all, all come with us all the time, they get fed. 
Um, so you got to try a lot of different things so you know what no, you like, I, I so that when it. you come back, you know what to get. Or if you <laughs> guys are wanting to come, we can tell you what all we tried and then take the guesswork out of it for you. We do this for you. It's not for us. It's for <laughs> See you. all the options. <laughs> yeah. We're givers. We're givers. Okay, so we started with the crawfish cheese dip. Crawfish cheese dip. It's like a queso, basically. Um, had good flavor. Did not have a lot of crawfish in it. Really? I didn't get any flavor at all. Did you get any flavor? Not really. Like the, It was thick. Chips, I like the thickness. The chips were really good. The chips were... They were kind of like a sun chip, like a plain... Like they had flavor yeah. on them. They were like but, a, almost like a wheat chip. Yeah. Like a whole, 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 maybe, whole grain or something. I like the chips. Yeah, and I, I don't know if the chip... Away. You think it took away from the I think the it took flavor? away from the flavor and the dip because I could only focus on the flavor and the chip. I guess we should have just gotten a spoonful of cheese. I have to, to know. I have it was to disagree. good. I have it to just, disagree. I liked it a lot. I thought it was really good. I didn't dislike it. I just it. wish I just, it had more crawfish in it. I just didn't think it had a whole lot of, of flavor. All right. There you go. Um, I, but it was a huge serving. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. A giant freaking bowl of dip yes. and Actually, chips. Actually, I kind of tried to take notes because we got so much stuff. <laughs> I said, I put in my notes, big ass bowl. <laughs> yeah, it was a it giant was. bowl of cheese. It's the but, size of his head. Yeah, <laughs> it was $10.25, and so that gives you kind of any idea. But it was really good. But you're right, it probably could have used some more crawfish as well. And maybe that's, maybe that's it. Okay, so then we got the drunken chicken on... Brooks recommendation because she has actually had that before. Yes, that was eight forty nine. It and was they basically were all size bowls. it's like chicken that's braised <clears throat> in a tomato type sauce with some different spices and things, and the chicken just fall off. I mean, just tender, really good, really, really good. Um, I don't. I even, was a fan, absolutely. It it taste it tasted like other places I've been to's gumbo. If that makes any sense. It had more um, of a... But it was like a thinner, not thick, um, like a gumbo, you know, usually is. Yeah. But it was really good. Not spicy. Um, really, really good. <laughs> Brooke's going to tell you what's in it. There you go. What is in it? Tender chicken <laughs> slow cooked with garlic, stewed tomatoes, Cajun spices, and beer served over steamed rice. I kind of like having an assistant. Yeah, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Who, me? So that was drunken <laughs> chicken. Um... That was really good. Brooks already claimed the leftovers of it to take yep. home. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I, this had more of a hearty kind of. I don't want to say this, yeah. but like beef stew kind of. Like feel. good winter time, cold yeah. winter time. So yeah. Yes. There you go. Yeah, like <clears throat> you're cold outside. This would be good. Stick to your ribs, kind of stuff. Yeah. All right, Levi's talking. Yeah, he agrees. Mm -hmm. All right, next up. All right, um, let's do the cheesy shrimp garlic bread. I'm kind of doing this as they brought it out because it was kind of yeah. coming out. So the different. cheesy shrimp garlic bread was basically like a hoagie roll cut in half, and it had something on it. I mean, it was it, onions and peppers diced up and, and some other stuff like a spread, and then it had shrimp on it and then melted cheese over it, and it was delicious. It was Absolutely um, delicious. 675, and it was kind of like, like two... It was like, like it, was, it was like a big hoagie half. roll cut in half, yeah. like a six inch hoagie roll cut in half. This um, is one of my favorite things, but I really like seafood bread, shrimp yeah. bread. I, I, I'm it a was huge really fan, good. but really, this one really was really good. good. Lots of flavor. Uh, the shrimp was done. Shrimp was cooked perfectly. perfect. Cooked perfect. Um, wasn't rubbery. Sometimes you'll have the shrimp bread, which I, I I usually like, cut up in pieces, like more chopped. This was whole shrimp on bread. Didn't bother me at all. I, really, I mean, I mm -hmm. liked it. I thought it was, it was you know, really they weren't good. like huge shrimps where you had to put half the loaf in your mouth to get a shrimp. It was good. You know what I mean? Would highly recommend. Yeah, I like that one at all, uh, a lot. So, toast. They bring out, what just was a that, garlic, like six just Garlic slices. butter toast. Just Texas toast, garlic butter toast. Yeah, you get toast um, with every order. It, it, yeah. yeah, so you get like one piece of Texas toast with each entree. So, it, it just came out on a, on a plate with like six pieces. But it was Texas toast. It was buttered and grilled. It was it was great. It had garlic on it. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. Loved it. Dipping it. I was dipping it and stuff. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> As you will see on the video. Or, or I already have. Uh, how about the sausage gumbo? Sausage gumbo was my favorite thing that we had there. Um, it had a real strong, bold flavor, um, a real deep roux. It was real smoky. Yeah, it it was it was. Now it was this very is good. the one I just want to point out that you used the word rich. Yes. For and this is a huge See, uh, debate okay. in our family. So rich is a huge thing with me because I use it a lot. People in her family, anytime they eat something sweet. They say it's rich. And that's I'll, the terminology. And I'll say, what do you mean by that? And they'll say, well, it's sweet. And I'll say, then that's not rich. It's sweet. Anything can be rich. And we've had this argument a million times. And 
you can look it up in the dictionary and it has nothing to do with sweet. <laughs> um, you watch a cooking show and they'll be eating roast beef or meatloaf and the sauce that's on it, they'll say is rich. It's not sweet. So anyway, um, but on the sausage gumbo, I really liked it and I really liked the sausage that was in it. Um, was it a particular kind? It was an andouille sausage. Okay. So the best kind of sausage. And I thought it was cooked really well. It wasn't chewy or tough or anything like that. It just, it was perfect. It was really good. Um, the only downside is um, they, they don't have a chicken gumbo. Um, they only had a sausage gumbo. It was really, really good, but I like a chicken gumbo better or a chicken with sausage gumbo. Um, so, okay. not knocking them. I just wish they would have <laughs> had uh, another. I wish they would have had a chicken gumbo next. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the red beans and rice with sausage. Yep. I uh, thought this was more on the mild side than anything else that I'd had to this point. We'll get to that in a minute. Flavor wise, yes. It, of of everything. And this it was, was eight forty nine. Yeah. It was a big bowl. Um everything was cooked well. But it really didn't have that Cajun flavor. Um wasn't a whole lot of spice to it. It was good, wasn't great. Um just kind of a little bit bland. Mm-hmm. It was bland. I just thought it was more mild. I thought it still had a really good flavor. Mm -hmm. I think it did too. It needed some kick. The um, everything needs, else had kick. It needed some pow. I think the last. I think which one? And then oh, the voodoo, voodoo chicken. Voodoo chicken. Now this that one you one. said had the least amount of flavor. And I said yes. that had the kick. That yes. was that, that one did have a kick, even though it had less flavor, I which know. I do agree with. And that one was eight forty nine as well. Um, at like right at the end, What's it kind of zinged you. What is it? The, the voodoo chicken. Voodoo chicken. I mean, it was tender. I'm going to guess chicken. It was tender and, you know, it was juicy. I mean, everything was cooked right, um, but it was it was kind of bland, but it had some spice, had some kick that hits you, you know, later on. Um, but it just didn't have a whole lot of flavor there. It is mm, slow-cooked chicken in a spicy Cajun sauce with garlic and crushed red pepper. Yeah. Um, so, so maybe that red pepper needed, is probably what you got at the end. Needed some, more, needed some more seasonings in there. Um, needed some of that slap your mama or some, you know, Zatarans or something like that. But all right, well, so the I next, keep, I keep telling him he needs to make his own. We're going to do a video about that it. eventually. Okay. Right. So the last thing that we got was the crawfish etouffee. Okay. Which is one of my favorite things. It, yeah, it is. Yeah. It is one of our favorite things to get anytime we have the opportunity. Oh, and it was um, $10.99. This was, this was the, the most different crawfish yes, etouffee I've agree. ever seen or had. This was is red yeah usually it's a dark like chocolate color yeah. or a dark you know burgundy um type roux and um yeah. this one was i don't want to say orange it was more of a but tan kind of a tannish <laughs> and like brooke looked at it and thought it was grits yeah um, it looks like grits, and it, and it was the same texture and everything yeah, it, so it, that did it for me it did kind of look like grits and it was real it, thick not a good way it did it for her and <laughs> um you know you couldn't see any um, you know, if, if you know about the Creole cooking, you know about the Holy Trinity, you know, which is onions, green peppers, and celery, celery yep. you know, and that's in everything. You couldn't yeah. see that in this. You couldn't taste it in this. Um, I was, I was very disappointed I in it. it. I ate it and I liked it, but at the same time I was disappointed because it was not what it's supposed to be. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it definitely wasn't the traditional etouffee we're used to, but I thought the crawfish was cooked well. I thought it had good flavor. If you had called it anything else, I would have been, yeah, this is really great. Um, but I think but, calling it an etouffee, a crawfish etouffee, and we're used to it coming out in this rich red color. Yeah, and okay. and not I being not being so thick. I mean, this I once, like the texture. this once you mix it up with the rice, I mean, you could pick it fork up with it. a fork. Yeah, yeah and you, fork it. you know, normal etouffee, you, you eat with a spoon. You know, um, but. But I still liked it. it I was would just... definitely come back here. Oh. I, obviously, we would not order as much. Absolutely, would come back here. There's several other things on the menu I'd like to try. Um, I we you know we didn't get any jambalaya. I would love to try that. Um, but um, so yeah, uh, Mardi Gras coming up. If you're in the mood for it, come down here, J Gumbos, and give it a try. Um, everyone was really nice. Um, it's a nice little small place to come. It's very get small, food. but it's the Highlands, so every little place you small. go is that shotgun kind of feel house. Yeah, it's with... right behind Wendy's. Mm 
Um, they're in the Highlands. Wendy's is on Barstown Road. Yeah, we got to see um, a hearse go through the Wendy's drive thru Yeah, dead person getting him some chili. Yep. Pretty sure uh, it was the driver, but instead, okay. Instead of or, uh, <laughs> or what's their, their ice cream thing? Frosty. Frosty, getting a Frosty. So anyway, anyway. <laughs> like, subscribe, share, and uh, we will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>